I was pleasantly surprised with that stuff, honestly. There's another one in there. I mean, let's not go crazy here. Welcome to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. I'm Basic. <laughs> and I'm Casey. And I'm Brownie, and today, Basic Marty Edition is going to show that we are gonna do a pumpkin spice taste and rank challenge. I know we're all really excited, I'm excited, I'm gonna be participating even though I'm not on camera just because I, like Marty, I'm a basic boy. That's with an I. <laughs> <laughs> what we're doing today is we're gonna go through eight different pumpkin spice flavored food or drink items. In front of each of our contestants today is a Starbucks pumpkin spice latte. This is the OG, the thing that started all the craze. So compared to this, they're gonna be trying a bunch of different items, rating them on how much they like them. On a scale of one to 10, I will average those out at the end and that will determine their ranking. Are we ready to taste our first item? Hold on, oh. I've never had one of these before. <laughs> <laughs> I guess there is just like an initial sip. That's probably necessary. Yeah, you do need to set your baseline. <laughs> oh, no. Ba basic AF. Very basic. Uh, Gwen. I'm Brown. surprised. I am surprised that started a trend. That's not <laughs> <good>. <laughs> Gwen coming out with a hot taste against Starbucks. <laughs> All right, let's go into our first item. And everyone knows presentation is everything. We've got. Whoops, me bumping the camera. Can of pumpkin spice spam. <laughs> mm -hmm. She's hot off the oven, or range, whatever it's called. Um, just go, get in there, so it, get a big deep breath. It smells like pumpkin spice. Marty, why don't you I'm point guard it? Start handing those bad boys I'm super excited. Yeah. So should we just take like a whiff first? Like yeah, just, yeah, yeah, just smell, the, get the... Take in the whole bouquet, the uh, the aesthetics, the texture. Ooh. Oh yeah, that's pumpkin Ooh, spice. That's strong, yeah. Super. <laughs> Super pumpkin spicy. Mm -hmm. There's a nice little char on them, it looks like. So, you know, it's cooked right. Ooh, that was a hefty bite by Gwen. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, I'm hot. That's surprisingly <laughs> that's, not bad. That's super good. For I love spam, so I'm a little biased, but that's so, that's really good. That's so, a really good cut of meat. Just uh just uh out of my own personal curiosity, so compared to regular spam, is this better or worse? I actually want to say this is better. This is, this is better than regular spam. It's, yeah. just, it's just got more... Um, it's got a nice sweetness to it. Yeah, it's got, yeah, it's got yeah, a sweet flavor. that sweet and savory yep. going. Actually, give me one of those. What am I doing standing over here? It's definitely not like overpowering, though. It's no. just like... Just no, enough. no, you are not looking forward to this. No, this was actually like, my biggest fear. Um, so what do you think? It's honestly so good. <laughs> like, am I going to go out <laughs> and buy it? Maybe. But good. I'm not disappointed. Like, Good luck buying it. Oh, yeah. Really? Well, thanks, so Spams. I asked you guys to send me a can so we wouldn't have to pay an outrageous price to test it, and you didn't. So we had to wow. pay a bajillion dollars on eBay from somebody who wasn't even yeah, going to eat it's it. It's a $56 can of Spam. So. Ooh! Well, let's go ahead and get our scores. We'll start with, uh, let's start with one. All right, I'm going to give this a six. A six out of ten. Pretty solid. Marty. I'm going to give it an eight. Eight that was strong good. number. Yeah, that was really good. Casey, your <laughs> score. I'm gonna also have to go with a six. A six, all right, pretty strong out of the gate. Let's go ahead and get our palates cleansed with those pumpkin spice lattes and move on to the next item. All right, our next item. Pumpkin spice Cheerios. <laughs> <laughs> this one, uh, it's just crack or open and grab a handful, I think is how we're doing it this time. I do consider myself a cereal connoisseur. I eat cereal all the time. Yeah, when Pop-Tart cereal came back, I loaded up on that like a madman. Nice. You can really get up in there if you want to, Gwen. There it is. That's what they look like. Hmm. It doesn't have much Underwhelming. pumpkin spice at all. All right. <laughs> you guys have had your sample. We've already had a little bit of discussion. Uh, we'll start. We'll just go. We'll just go down the line that we did last time. What? What is your score? <laughs> This was super underwhelming. I'm giving it a three. Three from Gwen. All right, Marty. I'm gonna go to two. There was nothing two. great about it. Oh man, that's not looking good for Cheerios. Casey, I remembered your name because I wrote it down. <laughs> Impressive. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go with a four. No, it was four. definitely underwhelming, but still good. All right. Still enjoyed it. So. Well, I know you're enough. taking home with you. All right. Well, we're two items through. Let's roll on to the next round. Pumpkin spice palate cleanse, if you haven't already. Oh. 
So mixing the Cheerios in with this didn't help it. Didn't no. help either of them. All right, our palettes are cleansed, coming in hot. Ugh. Sunbelt Bakery pumpkin spice bars. Mm -hmm. Limited edition, of course, as all pumpkin spice things are. That's why we have to do this at this time of year. Let's get some of these distributed and see how we feel. Oh, Ooh, that smells good. It does <laughs> that smell good. So good. I'm still not getting pumpkin, but it's, whatever it is, is good. Maybe like cinnamon? I'm getting zero pumpkin spice. It's like honey? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm and getting honey. honey. Yeah, it's pretty much mm -hmm. it's like a honey oak yeah. bar. This is honey like and cinnamon. Any other granola bar, really? It tastes, yeah, I mean, I, <laughs> yeah, this, if, if no one told me this is pumpkin spice, I would just assume they gave me an original. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty underwhelming. All right, well, let's, let's blast through this one real quick and get on to something that might be better. Gwen, what was your score? Three. It's on uh, par with Cheerios. Fair enough. And Marty? Um, I'll give it a, I'll give it a four. It was good, but it wasn't pumpkin spice. Fair enough, and Casey. I'll stick with a four as well. And another four. All right, coming in a little bit better than Cheerios, but not a very good showing by the Sun Belt granola bars. All right, let's go ahead and cleanse our palettes and move on to the next round. <laughs> Gwen's not enjoying this episode very much. <laughs> no? All righty. <laughs> Well, you guys just had some Starbucks. I want some more Starbucks. Starbucks cookie straws. Pumpkin spice. Pumpkin spice cookie Ooh. straws. I do love cookie straws. I don't think I've ever Ooh. had a cookie straw. What? No, I got the loomy on these. Never, never heard of it. So there. I think you drink stuff through it. So, I mean, I guess there's only one normal thing you could do with that then. So I think you should do uh, two straws. You should do one just eating it and telling us what it is. Then use a second straw to go in after the... Or Marty will do it the other way. Try not to break it. Nothing. I think there's stuff on the inside. There is. It's filled with stuff. Don't try to drink through it. Oh. Oh, okay, so it's not even a straw. Mm, oh, no. Nope. It's just straw nope. shaped? It is. Wow, is there full of stuff, though? Yeah, I can't see through it. That's misleading. Yeah. I'm but... kind of disappointed in that, honestly. It's not bad. It's got some decent flavor. Yeah, it's definitely got the pumpkin spice to it. It was not any better or worse dipped in the pumpkin spice latte. Which is good because they're the same brand, so. Right. Failure as a straw, pretty good as a pumpkin spice. That's why. It is very good at pumpkin spice. Uh, I really like the in, the inside. The, what do they got in here? What is it? Uh, white chocolatey filling. That is a nice, uh, a nice uh, addition to it. Now, Gwen, how much did you hate this because you don't like white chocolate? or pumpkin spice. Well, Marty, <laughs> let me tell you, I better rate it a two. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't like white chocolate. And I didn't, I'm, the white chocolate was overpowering for me yep. just because I didn't like it. One's like, too advanced for this chicken. <laughs> the, the outside cookie bit was really, really good. But unfortunately, I think the pumpkin spice flavor was put into the chocolate. All right, well, Marty, what do we got for your score? I'm giving it a six. A six? All right, six. and Casey? I think this one was pretty strong. I'm going to go a nine. Nice. Dang. I was definitely feeling the pumpkin spice. I can Solid go with Casey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good job. I'll just... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and cleanse the... Let's go ahead and cleanse the palettes and move on to the next round. Oh... What do we got? Oh, disasters. Crumblies? <laughs> liquids. Uh oh. Oh, that is bad. All right, well, you can dab those liquids up with some pumpkin pie Pop Tarts. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, Everyone loves Pop Tarts. Everyone loves pumpkin spice. Except for so, this should I be a we'll winner. Just open one and... Again, limited edition box. A collector's item, if you will. Ooh, the, inside, on the, back. the inside looks like pumpkin. Ooh. I can appreciate that. You want it on this? Sure. I'll do it. Take care of that later. It smells like a Pop-Tart. It smells just like a Pop-Tart. Yeah. But it, 
It smells like the brown sugar cinnamon pop tarts. Because there's no fruit. I've there's literally no never been able to smell anything except for the pop, pop tart part. Really? Of the, pop-tart. the cherry one to me is the only one that actually has like a uh, fruit smell. I just taste pop tart. Yeah. I yeah, love eating this pop tart too. Mm-hmm. Gwen likes this one. <laughs> you know? Is it because it's pop tart and not pumpkin spice? <laughs> Which makes me sad because I love pumpkin spice. Maybe do I have. Do you? I do. Maybe I have my. I just have my eyes set way too high on these. Uh... <laughs> Based on Gwen's scores, you hate pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting. I like pumpkin pie. I think everything should taste like pumpkin pie. See, this I, is the closest so far. I feel like this kind of tastes like pumpkin pie. Like after it sits mm-hmm. for a second, then I get the pie. I'm getting. Oh. That's right, it has echoes of pumpkin pie for sure. Mm-hmm. Because I think this is garbage on a hot summer day, so I'm not going according to this. <laughs> All right, Gwen, what's your score? I need this a seven. A seven. Nice. Marty. I'll go to five. A right five in the middle. from Marty and Casey. I was definitely feeling seven. And a seven. Another solid score. It looks like we're sort of ascending the ladder accidentally here. <laughs> For our next round is that product that always makes me think that it's cheese, but it's really crackers. It's Belvita pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Is these are these like the fiber bars? Is that what I'm thinking? They're there's something. I don't know what it is, but it's yeah, definitely not. Oh, they're fi- really fiber. Well, this is a breakfast bar. Hmm. No it better way to start give your me... basic morning than with a little bit of pumpkin <clears throat> spice Belvita. So this is gonna give me uh, four hours of steady energy. I honestly thought it was just one big bar. You've never had Belvita before? No, I haven't. No, I've never had it. It smells healthy. <laughs> with a you can get right on that one. Mmm. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's good. That's good. I like that. I definitely have the urge to like dip it in the pumpkin spice latte. We'll do it. It tastes way better than no one's right. stopping you. All right. I mean, you don't have to yell about it, but all right. <laughs> there you go. I'll join you. I'm going to take a dip. I <laughs> Way better. Well, you guys just figured out your mornings now. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Reminds me of just a compressed granola bar. It's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with it. All right, Gwen, let's get your score. I'm gonna go six on this guy. It was a lot better than uh, than a bunch of the other stuff we've had. Alrighty, and Marty. I'm gonna give her a seven. A seven from Marty mm-hmm. and Casey. Oh, I'm also gonna go a healthy seven. There we go. All right, well, you probably heard it. It's got an unmistakable sound. It's, well, waiting for Gwen to. <laughs> It's pumpkin pie m Yes. Yes. So this is what you were hiding. <laughs> okay. By hiding, he means upside down on the counter. I don't know why. Don't upside down on the counter. Yeah, upside down on the counter, followed by don't touch that. <laughs> I don't know why my heart is racing. I'm so excited for these ones. <laughs> All right, so I think we need to take a moment to appreciate just like the pastel yeah, are, color palette that these have. Yeah, these are... Uh, these look like ball. Yeah. So they look like the peanut butter filled ones, which are my favorite. Until now. Those have a healthy crunch sound to them. Yeah, they do. Um, I'm sad. I'm confused. I'm a, I'm yeah. a sad lady. What There's is this specifically? Cho- Does it have yeah. white chocolate? White pumpkin white pie. White pumpkin pie. Okay, yep. So it is white chocolate. <laughs> That's okay. The what? Okay. So my biggest problem when people do stuff with okay. white chocolate Wanna is that it? Right. It overwhelms the other flavors. It is a super overpowering. Yep. And I, I, I like white chocolate, but if it says it's gonna be pumpkin pie, I want to also taste the pumpkin pie. It's mostly oh. just white chocolate. I it's really straight just up taste... white chocolate with an M and M shell. Yeah. So that's, yeah. that's disappointing. Oh yeah. It's um. It's straight up white chocolate. Wow. What? What a disappointment. M and M's. What have you done? We've been fooled. Do you like them? I don't love them. Mm. Well, this is what we do with that. Let's say. So I could have been doing that with all of my leftovers this whole time. Just I'm not sweeping. <laughs> all right. Well, let's get some hey, scores. I'm gonna add more to your pile over here, Casey. Okay. Scores. One. 
A one. That's a mad disrespect there, Gwen. Marty? I'm giving it a one as well. Oh, was, it, it was just goodness. it was it was white chocolate. That's Eminem all mad disrespected pumpkin spice. Oh. <laughs> Hear that? Casey. Uh, I'll go three. I don't know if it's because I feel bad for the low scores <laughs> or what. I mean they weren't like that bad, but it's a good thing I do not work tomorrow because I'm gonna eat all kinds of jack nuts. <laughs> Outside of pumpkin pie, these are my favorite pumpkin flavored things. We've got Oh, I almost landed it. <laughs> Little Debbie pumpkin spice rolls. Ooh. I feel like these ones are gonna be really like truly pumpkin spicy. Yeah, these ones whenever these guys come out with something, they do an excellent job of I don't wanna say overwhelming it with flavor. But they overwhelm it with flavor. They deliver. They pack it in. They pack. Yeah, they they definitely. You know what you're eating. You want some? I'll I'll take the box home. Okay. <laughs> Even in the okay. smell, like it's already yep, there. Yep. It smells just like pumpkin spice. All right, send it, Gwen. It smells like French toast. Well, there's cinnamon and nutmeg and French toast too. So, if you do it right, yeah. If you do it right. That's very pumpkin spice. That's good. I do like that. Will it be the top ranked one though? Mm. Casey, thoughts? I mean, it's not bad, but I was expecting more. I might have over oversold it. I was definitely expecting more, <laughs> especially with the smell. And yeah, you overselling it. I, I'm a little let down with the pumpkin spice. I'd have right. to agree. Like it smells amazing. It's, mm -hmm. It smells, but the taste doesn't match the smell. Yeah, if they if they if they put in as much taste as they did as the whatever they used to scent this, <laughs> <laughs> it'd be spot on. All right, fair enough. Well, let's get our final scores, Gwen. I'm gonna go five. Five from Gwen, Marty. I'm gonna give her a six. It was good. Six for Marty and Casey. Five as well. All right. Our scores are in. I'm gonna go tabulate real quick and also cool down because it's a thousand degrees in here. <laughs> yeah. In last place, a near unanimous decision with only five points, the M&Ms. Boo. In seventh place with nine points, Cheerios. In sixth place with 11 points, the Sun Belt Granola Bars. In fifth place, the Little Debbie uh, Pumpkin Spice Rolls. In fourth place with 17 points, the Starbucks Cookie Straws. In third place with 19 points, the Pop-Tarts. Delicious. And there's no second place, we have a tie for first place. Ooh. 20 points each. Ooh. The Belvita breakfast things, whatever they were. They were good. And the Pumpkin Spice Spam. <laughs> wow, wow. I, I was also really worried about the Spam. I. I was worried they were gonna just ruin it, but no, they they nailed it. It was awesome. So Good your job, spam. Your pumpkin spice flavor champions: Belvita pumpkin spice and spam pumpkin spice. That is not what I thought was gonna happen <laughs> right. today. No, I not whatsoever. Make more. All right, well, we had a good time. We got to eat a lot of pumpkin spice things. Some great, some not so great. If you think this video was great, go ahead and put a like on it. It shows you're supporting what we're doing, and you want to see more videos like this. If you're interested in what we're up to, why not subscribe? Come back, check out what we're doing. Keep up to date with all the stuff we, we're uh, we're making on the channel. And comment down below what your favorite pumpkin spice is. And of course... Thanks for joining us today on Stuff Lab. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye! Have a basic day. <laughs> <laughs>